All right, so I want to talk today about what $5,000 as an investment can do for you over the course of a period of time. Investing should not be played in a short uh, case scenario or with somebody that's wanting to make money quick. That's not investing, that's gambling. So we're gonna talk about what, if you can put $5,000 in a good return um, investment, what that can do over the course of a period of years. A lot of people are getting tax returns right now. Uh, instead of spending money on surfboard or some other thing in your, your home that you're not going to use, uh, consider putting it into an investment. Now you should put some money in a savings account for what we call your emergency fund. Emergency fund should be three to six months worth of your expenses in a savings account that you can access if anything happens. You can always go there and get that money. After you get that emergency account set up, let me just share with you that if you start putting in $5,000 a month, I'm sorry, $5,000 a year, not a month, uh, over the next uh, period of time, and if you're a younger person, we're going to use 30 years as our time frame. So the total amount you will have invested is $150,000. So total invested is $150,000. So if you're 30 years old now, when you're 60, if you put this in a savings account, you would have $156, $1,000 to retire on. If it is a savings account. Savings accounts right now return you less than 1%. So we're going to use 0.25%. And that's what you would get. 5,000 a year, 30 years, that's how much you would get out of it when you retire. Now, instead of putting a savings account, which is a very low risk investment, and it actually isn't an investment, it's just savings. What if you actually put it in an investment in a bond? So the bond, these are lower risk, it could be a government bond, a corporate bond, and I'm gonna say that the corporate bond and, uh, and government bonds return on average 3%. If you put that money in a bond in 30 years, you're going to have $245,000. Uh, so you made about almost $100,000 on what you put in from that 3% interest. So decent investment is better than the savings account. What if you put it in a stock market? So I'm going to use the S&P 500, which is uh, 500 stocks and you put it in that, in that an index fund that is for the S&P 500. On average, over the last 40 years, the S&P 500 returns about 8%. Um, it's up and down, but on average it's 8%. So this is a real investment. And over the course of that next 30 years, when you go to retire, you'd have $612,000. So as you can tell, it's a big difference. You're making several hundred thousand dollars more by putting it in the S&P 500 versus just the savings account. What I would encourage you to think about is to invest in something like real estate, like projects like ours, that have a higher return. And our projects pay a 12% annual return at Neighborhood Ventures. Um, you have to be comfortable with the risk of investing with Neighborhood Ventures. A lot of people are, I certainly am you need to understand what it's all about. But I think this is a very low risk investment to get a 12% return. I encourage anybody to put money in, into our projects, including people who are retired, who are living on their retirement. If you put this 5,000 a year into our projects at 12%, when you retire, you're going to have 1,350,000. So almost double what you get in the S&P. The, the reason this works is compound interest. So compound interest is when you're making money on the interest over and over again. So as you put in that $5,000, it just continues to grow and it grows on itself. And so you can see by investing in something like a neighborhood ventures projects that are 12%, the, the amount of money that you're gonna have and the amount of wealth that you're gonna build over the next period of years 
is significantly more than even the stock market, bonds, and especially by leaving it in your savings account. So become an investor, get your, get your emergency fund set up, put a few months of expenses in there, and then decide how you are going to build your wealth. And I think Neighborhood Ventures is a, is a great way to do that.